Hey guys, it's Cauliflower, and today I am here to show you and demonstrate the new Kiss InstaWave hair curler. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of the way that I would curl my hair with this thing. Hey guys, it's Cauliflower, and today I'm actually here to do a hair tutorial of all things. If you saw in my Friday Freebies uh, video this week, I was talking about this new uh, hair wand that I received through Brandbacker called the Kiss InstaWave. And um, I did ask you guys if you wanted a tutorial on, on how to use the uh, wand itself. So I'm here today. I'm actually trying to give it a go as I'm recording this. Um, I'm going to be showing you how you get these really nice, I just tried one, how you get these really nice curls and waves with this wand. This is what the InstaWave is. This is what... Um, I will be using. Okay, so first of all, when you see this thing, it looks like a torture device. I know it's kind of um, a little intimidating, but once you get the hang of it, it's really cool. It has a very, you know, uh... hey guys, it's Cauliflower, and today I have a sort of demonstration on a new hair product or hair tool that I will be showing you guys in this video. If you guys remember in my Friday Freebies video, my hair was completely wavy and curly and I did show you guys that I had gotten this through Brandbacker. This is the Kiss InstaWave hair curler and it's a very simple tool. It basically will curl your hair in less than about, I don't know, 10 or 15 seconds. Um, all you have to do is just place your hair near it press the, bur the the buttons, press one of these, um, the buttons in the direction that your hair is going to be curling, and this little apparatus will spin around the wand and around these spikes here. Now, I am not the best at showing you demonstrations. I'm going to do a little bit of my hair on this side. I did already do um, one part of it, but I wanted to redo it so I can show you how I did it. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's completely done because I really, I, I'm, I'm struggling with, <laughs> I've tried this a few times to demonstrate on camera and I'm really not that great at it. So bear with me and we're just going to show you really quickly how this works. So the only thing you need to do is just flip up the switch. I like it to go to the highest of heat because my hair is very thick. And we're going to um, take one section of my hair, of course the one that I already started with you want to do about I'd say about that thickness you don't want to get too thick okay and you can go from your crown I am not going to do that I'm going to go from the middle of my hair and I'm going to just put it parallel to my hair this way and the button is going to press and you see what it does it takes your hair and it's twisting it and when you feel like it's twisted it just right release the button and then what I was doing is I was pulling it down as it was still twisting. And that is how it does the curling. So it's not, you know, this one I didn't do, of course, exactly perfect, but that is the major gist of it. All right, let's try an, a straight piece. Your hair does have to be, <laughs> isn't that pretty? Your hair does have to be completely and utterly straight for this in order to work. Let's try it again. Let's see if I can do it better this time. See how all the hair is just getting into the wand? Now you want to be careful not to go too far because this can pull more hair than it's supposed to. So like that, and then I just release it when I feel like it's had enough. I'm still kind of just... I'm still kind of practicing with this, so it is a, it takes a little bit of practice. I don't want to um, I don't want it to over curl, but it's very simple. Um, I like the fact that there is a heat barrel, so all the heat is coming through the wand. It's not coming from this part itself. It's safe to use. Um, it shuts off after 90 seconds. If you're not using it, you can adjust the heat, and um, it's an easy thing to use. So I'm going to be using this very quickly and I will show you the end result and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys. And that noise is so weird but 
as you can see, it is just, it's not even tugging my hair at all, which is another thing I do like about this. And see, the curl is nice and loose, so it doesn't make it very tight, although I'm sure you could, depending on your hair type. Okay, so this is the completed side. I just did one side. And if you notice, like I said, it's very loose curls or very loose waves. And if you feel like you've made a mistake, you can always go back, which I really like about this. It doesn't make your hair crunchy, like I explained in my other video. It doesn't make it feel like it's got a lot of heat, like it's damaging your hair. It actually feels like it's conditioning your hair. My hair feels completely, really soft. My fingers go right through it. Like I said, it gives you these natural waves, which I really love. I'm sure that you can do tighter curls. Like I said, I'm just really just practicing with this right now, but I love what it does for my hair. I love the fact that it is completely and utterly touchable. And if you make a mistake, you can go right back in and just redo it without over, you know, um, making your hair so heat and frayed that it's like getting so frayed and so crunchy and at that point. So that is it, guys. I'm going to do the rest of my hair and go on with my day. I hope you guys like that tutorial. I'm not the best at them, but I really wanted to show you, you know, what it actually can do for your hair. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.